This is one of the most annoying things about Logic Pro. What is up, you guys? It's Tony Holiday, back at it again. It has been a while, so if you're tuning in, thank you so much for sticking around with me. If there is one little feature about Logic Pro that I wish they would fix, I think this would be it. And what that is, is going through the Logic Sample Browser and not being able to hear your samples when scrolling through them. Now, the reason that this happens is because a lot of the samples that you download are WAV files, and they're actually in a format which is called 32-bit. Logic actually only plays files through the Sample Browser that are 24-bit. So if you have the 32-bit in that browser, they're not gonna play when you actually scroll down them. This is super frustrating and super annoying, especially when you're making beats because you wanna be able to preview sounds as you go down and through them because only certain sounds are gonna fit into certain beats. Different types of 808s, different types of snares, different types of claps, so on and so forth. Lucky for you, I have a solution and I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that today so that you don't have to worry about this anymore. You just have to do a simple conversion using an app called Switch. So let's get into the video. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Logic Pro. I'm going to give you an example here of some of the sounds that don't work and we're gonna convert these files into 24-bit so they actually do work. So I've just opened up the browser by pressing F on my keyboard. And then I have this kit here, which is the Artist Winter 2019 collection. If you don't know Artist, he's an excellent sound designer. I really, really love his stuff. He's gotten the sign-offs from a lot of people in the industry. I believe he also did some work for Splice. So excellent kits. Now here's the thing. The reason why the files are 32-bit is that people are sound designing in FL Studio or other programs that export to that format. Now, when you export with that, you can still use a WAV file in any other DAW like Ableton, Reason, Logic Pro, etc. But like I said, Logic is only going to play them in the sample browser if they're 24-bit. Artists, I'm pretty sure, uses FL Studio or Ableton, one of the two. A lot of trap and hip-hop producers use FL Studio, so it's going to be exported to 32-bit. So maybe the drum kits that you're downloading on Reddit are going to be 32-bit. So this is the solution that's really going to help with that. So I'm going to go into the kit here. We're just going to do the normalized and we're just gonna go through the claps here and we'll do normal. I'm just gonna scroll up and down this so you can hear what I mean. Now take note, some of these claps are the same, but one of them has 24B next to them. And I'll show you how to do that really quickly as well, but it's kind of useless considering what I'm gonna show you afterwards, which is a way easier solution to do this. So if I scroll through these kits, you can see that some of them make noise, some of them don't. And the ones that are making noise are the 24-bit files. Now, how do you get that? Well, for example, on this one here, Boat, if I actually double click that and put it in my project, you can see that it actually just moved right over there to the arrange window. It's actually added that in 24-bit. So Logic actually put this solution in when they made the software because they knew it was an issue, but you're not gonna go through all of your drum kits and drag and drop every single sample in. It's a waste of time. And then it's kind of disorganized. Like for example here, now I have some that are 24B, some that are not. So scrolling through them, it's gonna have an output and then it's not, it's not worth it. So let's get into the solution. So I'm gonna delete that sample and we're gonna to go to my desktop. I have the Artist Winter 2019 collection here that I downloaded. What we're gonna do is we're gonna make a new folder. We're gonna do Shift Command N and we're gonna call this one 24B Kits. We're going to take this Artist Winter 2019 collection folder and we're gonna convert the files using an app called Switch. So it's gonna take them from 32-bit into 24-bit. We're gonna open up the app Switch. So it's called Switch sound file converter. It's very important that you get the Mac App Store version of this app. And the reason being is you can also download an app from their website switch, but it has a 50 file limit for you to export. So this one doesn't have a limit. So I'll put the link down in the description so you can get that. App. And this is what switch sound file converter looks like when you open it up. Now there's a couple things that we need to do in order for us to convert these files properly. The first thing we're going to do is add files here. We can also do this little drop down and go add audio, video, it doesn't matter. We're gonna actually do the drop down and do add folder. So we'll click that one. We're going to go to desktop and we're going to click the Artist Winter 2019 collection that I have here. And we're gonna choose that folder. As you can see, it's just gonna take a second to load those files in there. 
All right, so now I have all of the files there loaded into Switch Sound File Converter. Now we just need to do a few parameter changes before we convert this so that it does it properly. We're going to go to this button here, which is Encoder Options. So we're just gonna change a few of these options here. For channels, we're gonna do Match Source. The reason that we wanna do Match Source is because what it's going to do is take the original WAV audio file and make sure that it stays in either mono or stereo as the original sound designer intended. Channels, match source. And sample size, we just wanna do 24 bits integer. We're changing it from 32 to 24. Now we'll go okay. One thing also we wanna do is check this box that says copy source folder structure. Now the reason why we wanna do this is because especially in drum kits, everything is organized in a folder hierarchy. So there's clap folders, 808 folders, there's snare folders. We wanna keep them all in the same folders. We just want to export the files as a new format. So we don't want everything just thrown in a new folder. We wanna keep the source folder structure. So we're gonna do copy source folder structure, and we can do that in a minute to determine what we're gonna actually copy the source folder from, but that'll happen in just a minute. And then we're gonna go open output folder, and it says, please select the folder you want to save the converted files. The one that cre created 24B kits, we'll do choose. So now we're ready to convert these files. We'll go to convert. Now it's going to ask us for the base folder that we want to mirror when we are actually copying the source folder structure. So we can go browse and the folder that we wanna copy is the original one, the artist winter 2019 collection, because we're taking that source folder structure that is already made in that kit and just simply copying it over to the new one that's going to be 24 bit. So we'll do choose. At this point, we're ready to go. Everything's been set up. We can now do okay. And it's going to convert all these files for us so then we can play them in Logic Pro in the sample browser. Let's check back in a second after these have all converted and we'll go through and test the files to make sure that they're all changed. Okay, great. So that took about, I wanna say two minutes. We have the conversion complete here and we have all of our files now converted. So we can close up Switch Sound File Converter. We can go to 24B Kits. We can see the Artist Winter 2019 collection is here and everything is nice and organized as it was originally intended by Artist when he made this kit. But let's test these sounds to make sure that they work in the Logic Pro sample browser. We can open up Logic Pro and now we'll go back to the desktop. We go to 24B kits and we will test some of these files. In theory, if we go up and down this, all of them should play, not just the ones labeled 24B. So the claps worked, let's try the hi-hats. Let's try the 808s. As you can see, all the files have now been converted from 32-bit to 24-bit. You can use them in the Logic Pro sample browser when you're making your beats on the fly. I am jealous of FL Studio users for the feature of their sample browser. The fact that you can play samples while the playback is also happening in the arrange window is such a no-brainer to me. I'm really kind of annoyed that Logic doesn't have that feature. Maybe if someone at Apple's watching this, you can think of doing that in the future. The last thing I wanna say here, guys, is obviously you don't wanna do every single kit that you have that's 32-bit. Best way to do it is make a folder called 32B Kits, put all of your 32-bit drum kits in there, and then make the same one that we did with the 24-bit and convert that whole 32-bit folder over to the 24B. Also take note that with some of these files, there is the 24-bit files as well that were manually converted via Logic. So you can just delete those and just keep the other ones. That being said, you guys, I hope this helped out some people. I know the frustration of downloading kits from Reddit or other sound designers like Wave Supply and Splitmind. There are people that use FL Studio and then trying to use it in Logic and not being able to at least browse the samples. It kind of makes you not want to use that kit. I hope this solution helped you. It really helped me and I got some of my favorite kits now being able to browse through in the Logic Sample Browser. With all that being said, you guys, I hope you found this video helpful. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.